Hi folks, so if you watch my last video, you'll know I tested the range of my rack gateway and homebrew antenna installed on the roof of my home in the Tucson, Arizona foothills. In support of this test, I took a walk around my community with two nodes registered to the same application ID. One node had a simple wire antenna and the second had a commercial 2dBi antenna purchased from Adafruit. I tried various configurations in the programming of the node using both adaptive data rate on and off and fixing the spreading factor to 7. Initially, I wasn't too impressed with the range of my gateway relative to what I've seen others report online, but assumed that challenges were tied to path losses given the topography and large number of homes in the area where I live. This essentially summarizes the coverage resulting from those early tests. I tried different things to improve range from slowing down my walking gate to turning adaptive data rate off and fixing the spreading factor to 7. You may recall that slowing down my walking gate had the greatest impact on RSSI, but it really didn't do much to improve overall coverage beyond the eastern side of my community. I've since repeated and tweaked all these tests to see what I might do to improve telemetry and here are the results. The good news is that coverage associated with my new tests for both the commercial antenna and the wire antenna improved significantly as you can see from these two maps. Look at how the coverage improved with ADR on and a 30 second interval in my follow up relative to the coverage from my first tests with no other changes made. The bad news is that all my tweaks yielded pretty much the same results regardless of whether I had ADR on or off with the spreading factor of 7 or whether I diminished the telemetry interval from 30 to 15 seconds, at least within the scale of my community. This is great, but it leaves me with a gnawing question of what in the world changed between my former tests and these latest tests to improve coverage. If it were a wiring issue, I would have seen it in one node versus the other, and it couldn't have been a programming issue since both nodes were running the same program using the same application ID. Perhaps it was an automatic software update from the Things Network. I really don't know, so frankly, I'm just stumped on this. Having said that, let's get back to the good news. Here are the combined results for all my tests and tweaks associated with the commercial antenna, showing coverage within a 2,500 foot radius. Look how far I managed to reach within my community, and I probably could have gone further if I tried. And here are the combined results for the wire antenna, showing pretty much the same coverage, at least within the bounds of my community. Interesting, this suggests that if you only need coverage within a 2,500 foot radius, either a wire or a commercial antenna should work just fine, regardless of whether you use ADR or a spreading factor of 7. At least that's what I'm witnessing in my community. And this shows the combined results of both the wire and commercial antenna under a variety of configurations. The bottom line is, I'm glad to see I can realize coverage throughout most of my community from a LoRaWAN gateway, regardless of topography or path loss, from adjacent homes, and all realized from a homebrew antenna installed on the roof of my home. This is really encouraging, meaning that if I can make this work, then I know other non-engineers like me can probably make this work as well. In my next video, I'll visit the LoRaWAN gateway installed on the roof of the Gould Simpson building at the University of Arizona, and I'll also summarize my tests of coverage of that gateway, walking between buildings and visiting the basement of the student union at the University of Arizona with some surprising results. If you're interested, subscribe for updates, and I'll catch you next time.